Howdy champs, my name is Mohadan. People today, uh, through CSS3, I'm going to show you a special uh, special effect. Um, <coughs> now, you see there are three boxes out here. And when I hover over uh, the different boxes, see the way they actually turn around. They, they do a, a 3D flip. They flip over. And uh, you see, this example is in the form of a question and an answer. Uh, you can think of uh, different uses, uh, you know, rather than just have a question and an answer, question in the front and uh, the answer in the back, just the way I've used. It could probably be, let's say, the name of a medicine, and when you hover over the actual chemical ingredients, uh, you know, the generic uh, name of the trade name on the front and the chemicals at the back. You, c you can actually uh, think of so many different ways in which you can actually uh, use this example. Maybe, uh, you know, something to do with uh, playing cards. They, there could be so many uses. Uh, again, yeah, you have to use your creativity out here. All right. Uh, so you see, what are some things to avoid in a good diet? And uh, when you hover over, it says white sugar and white flour. Can fats really benefit you? Yes, good fats like the ones you get from avocados, fish, tuna, olive oil, olive oil are, are good fats. And uh, does fat really make you fat? The uh, revelation is no. It's actually sugar that makes you fat, right? Again. Um, the information provided here is no substitute for a uh, real uh, medical professional uh, advice so just don't rely on the information out here I'm not a doctor I'm here to teach CSS especially CSS3 and uh, so I just take the CSS seriously and uh, not the dietary advice I'm not a dietitian or a doctor right but uh, this is some information that I've uh, checked up and found it to be useful anyways so this tutorial is gonna run into two parts people and hopefully by the time I record the second part my uh, voice which I'm sure you must have noticed if you are an avid uh, viewer uh, is a little hoarse right now so I, I hope my throat will be a lot better by the time I record my next tutorial now uh, as I said in part number one I'll not talk about the CSS at all I'll be redoing the CSS in part number two I'll just give you a small gist of how things were actually done now these three boxes are actually divs and if you notice very carefully we have rounded corners all around right so I've used the border radius CSS3 property I have said it time and again that CSS3 try using CSS3 in HTML5 a lot of people it'll set your web page on fire it'll put it on steroids nitro boosters please get into the habit of using HTML5 and CSS3 a lot for all you know you know by the end of 2014 somewhere in the middle of 2014 maybe almost you know all these CSS uh, 3 properties will be absorbed so very well across the different browsers that we have right so get into the habit of uh, working with CSS 3 a lot HTML5 a lot they really really um, uh, enhance uh, muscle up you know strengthen your web page a lot this you know the the uh, they just uh, just add the uh, icing on the cake use it a lot people it really uh, transforms your page uh, dramatically magically radically right so you see uh, these three boxes are actually divs and it's just not not one single div but they are uh, three divs so the you know this is three divs plus three divs plus three divs so this web page is, is a total of nine divs so you know inside the the main div we have two more divs one for the question one for the answer that uh, makes one set so one set of three divs out here one set of uh, three divs out here and one set of three divs out here that is the way the structure has been laid out right um, a lot of CSS3 properties uh, have gone into this tutorial we've used the uh, let me show you the code 
as I said, this is, uh, you know, the part one is just a bird's eye view. And in part number two is where I'll actually be um, redoing the CSS uh, all over. But we will be discussing verbatim the HTML in this part itself. And just taking a bird's eye view. As I said, uh, does seem uh, like a lot of code people, but uh, it isn't too difficult at all. So you can see out here that use the transform property, the perspective uh, rotate out here. I've used the uh, back face uh, CSS3 property. I've set it to hidden. Now what does the back face do? It ensures that the the back side uh, is hidden. You see, I've set it to hidden. So while you know it, it's, it's working like a revolving door, you're not able to see the other side, the flip side. That, that's what it actually accomplishes. <coughs> Excuse my throat, people. I, I can't recognize my own voice at the moment. Okay, I've used the transition property. I've used the transition shorten property, people. Um, this is the time in which the transition happens, and this is the ease, right? So uh, we've used the border radius CSS3 property out here. Right, so a lot of CSS3 uh, out here, but trust me on this. It's very easy. I've used rotate y out here, rotation along the y-axis. Perspective is the uh, viewing distance, basically, where the you know your the viewer's eyes are actually placed. Uh, the viewing perspective that is what it actually means, right? So as I said, uh, we will not talk about uh, whatever is inside the opening and the closing style tags. As you can uh, very clearly see out here, I've used the opening closing style tags with the type attribute. Um, in fact, even though this tutorial will carry on to or spill over to the uh, other part, the second part, I'm going to leave all the code in a file which is going to be called flip3d.html uh, or rather I'll call it flip3d.zip which will be the HTML CSS and the images that I've actually used. I'll bundle it all uh, together and I'll zip it up. I'll put it up on my website http colon forward slash forward slash qualitylessons dot net uh, forward slash downloads one that's number one dot html so that's quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one dot html right so whatever you see out here in the title is the link where you should be going and downloading this project in case you just do not want to bang your heads, do not want to uh, really think a lot, you know, just want to use the code, just want to copy and paste the code for your projects, feel free to go to this link, qualitylesson.net forward slash downloads one dot html, use the code. All the assets, the images, the html and the CSS will be bundled up together in a zipped file called flip3d.zip for you to download and use. Right. As I said, uh, we'll only be uh, verbatim talking about the HTML, which I'm not gonna uh, uh, alter. I'm just gonna talk about it verbatim. So let's be in the code view for a while, people. Okay. This is the opening body tag, and which actually closes out here. Right. Whatever goes inside the body tags, uh, people, is what is visible on the web page. Now we have a div with a class of flip over in line 51 which closes out here in line 56. Let's only talk about this bit first. Okay, so div with a class of flip over opens in 51, closes in line 56. Sandwiched inside we have two more divs. Div with a class of answer closes out here and div with a class of question closes out here. Uh, the div with the class of answer has a question which is encapsulated in the h1 tag. It has an answer rather and an image. It has an image too. The div with the class of question uh, has a question encapsulated in the h1 tags and has an image. Now this bit is repeated three times, so we have uh, 
three sets of questions and answers people and that's all that is there to the uh, HTML so we have another div uh, flip over which closes out here another div with a class answer closes out here another div with a class of question that uh, closes out here so the main div has a class of flip over uh, has two more divs inside which have classes of answer and class uh, and a class of answer and a class of question and the div which has a class of answer has the actual answer and an image and the div uh, which has a class of question has a question encapsulated in the h1 tags and an image so that is the uh, way the the layout has been laid out right and that is all that is there to the html but the css people in fact it will be if I explain it verbatim it will be very difficult for you to understand I'm gonna do it uh, word to word I'm gonna type it out word to word as I explain uh, in the next part the second part people and uh, again let me remind you that if you are one such person who really wouldn't want to bother watching a tutorial but instead just use the uh, flipping flip over effect or the flip 3d effect uh, please feel free to go to the link qualitylessons.net that's my website uh, forward slash downloads one dot html again people my name is Mohit Manuja and uh, I hope you found this information useful you like the effect you enjoyed it uh, I hope you'll uh, thumb the video up I hope you will uh, subscribe too and I hope to join you in the next part with a better throat you have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.